Hello. In this video, you'll be introduced to ASAP Systems Bar Cloud iPhone application, and at the end of this video, you will also see a live demonstration of the application as well. Here we can see the Bar Cloud app for iPhone. To begin using it, you'll enter your email, your username, and your password. And once that's been done, simply click on the login button. Once you're logged in, you'll see all of the available transactions or if you tap files, you can see all of the available files which you can search. To begin a transaction, simply tap on the transaction that you'll need, tap the first field which you'll scan, and then scan the barcode. You can also tap on the field name, and this will allow you to search for something or filter for a specific item within that particular form. And this can be done for all of the fields on the form itself. Unlike most barcode scanning apps, there's no need to tap the screen in order to capture the barcode. Once the iPhone camera sees the barcode, it will be auto-logged into the field you've specified, and you can continue at that point. At this point, to complete the receive transaction, fill in the asset number, and if we need to, we can also fill in things like the serial number and the cost. Simply process that when you're done, and now you've received a new asset into your database. Additionally, you can also move assets to people and or locations, or dispose of assets to remove them from the database. You can also perform a checkout for an asset, and here you can also assign a due date to that. And then finally, you can also check the asset back in from the mobile device itself. Now we'll take a look at some of the files, so we'll tap on Asset, and this allows us to either search through a list or filter for a specific asset. Here we can see the one that was just added on the transaction we did, or we can check for the models, and again we can search for a specific model or select one from the list below. The same thing goes for any of the locations you have in your database, as well as any people that you've also added into the database. Hi, today we're going to demonstrate uh, Bar Cloud on the mobile devices. Today we have an iPhone, um, an iPhone 5 and an iPad. Um, we're going to demo it on the iPad because it looks exactly the same way it does on the iPhone and it functions the exact same way. Um, the only reason why we're picking the iPad is just because it has a bigger screen to show on video. So here we have the iPad and then here's the uh, Bar Cloud icon. Um, we just simply tap on it to, to launch it. So once we enter the email and the username and password, we simply tap on the login button. And then now we are inside um, Bar Cloud Web. Um, the icons are very simple. At the very bottom here, we have our um, tra transactions, and here we have our files. For files, what we have is we can search for assets, we can search for the model numbers, the locations, and the people. However, to conduct a transaction, we just simply go down here, tap on the transaction button, and say we want to receive a brand new asset. We so to receive, tap on we just simply start scanning barcodes. Uh, so the first barcode we're going to scan is basically the location where we want to receive the item to. So simply we just tap on this icon to activate the camera. Once the camera is activated, we point to the barcode. Um, once the uh, round, you'll see at the bottom is going to say conference 204, we hit done. At this point, we can either tap on the person or scan the barcode. So to tap, you know, to find a person, we just do it this way, or we can simply search for the person. So say we want to search for Jessica, here she is. And um, once we tap on it, it'll bring it back. Next thing, we scan the purchase order, or we can just simply skip to the model. Um, here we can scan the barcode for the model as well. So again, tap on the uh, icon to activate the camera. Find the model number for the item that we want to track. Um, once it's read it at the bottom, we hit done. At this point, we need to scan the asset barcode number. So it's best, let's just say we have this asset over here. We want to receive this asset. Uh, let's find the barcodes on the back. Um, so we're going to use this as the asset number here. Uh, what we're going to use is this as the serial number. So again, we activate the scanner. Uh, we point to the barcode of the item we want to track. So once it found it like here, we hit done. 
Now let's scan the serial number. We tap again to activate the barcode. Once it found it, or once it uh, activates it, at this point we, here's the uh, serial number. We had done cost, let's just enter a cost and go to the notes, enter some notes and hit process. This asset transaction saved, now that it is added. To move an item from one place to the other, we just tap on the move button. The two location, we can, like I said, either scan a barcode or tap on the two. And then we will find the, uh, the location where we want to go to. So let's just say we want to go to uh, this location. You tap on it, it'll bring it back. Or again, like I said, you can activate the camera and um, scan the barcode. Uh, you scan the person, let's say we want to move it to a person at this point. Once again, we can just activate the camera, find the barcode, hit done, and then now scan the asset number. So again, activate the barcode, let's go back to this uh, asset number over here. found it, we hit done, hit process, this item just moved. It's that simple. And same thing with checkout and check-in. Say I want to check something out, I tap on the checkout. I, um, you know, I can uh, tap on the person's name in case they're not around for me to scan their barcode. Let's say we want to check out to this person. Let's just check out this asset number. So let's just tap on the, uh, to activate the camera once again. Here's the asset number we want to check out. Once it finds it, we hit done. At this point, we can simply tap how many days it's due in, or we can just uh, click on due date, go down here, say we want to be due September 28th at 6 p.m., hit done, and process. This item just got checked out. To check it back in, same process. We just hit on check in and scan the barcodes like we demonstrated.